this your first time in Kaushik? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. May I know your name? Oh, yeah, Kaushik. Kaushik. Yeah. 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 Are you from Bangalore? Yeah, we are from Bangalore. So are you there? We are from Bangalore. So mainly it's a coffee plantation. So we maintain coffee as the main crop because Kurgi is one of the high altitude places, right? So most yeah. of the places we are getting hill areas. So obviously in hill areas we, do, we get only less stored water. Mm -hmm. So we don't get much stored water, no? Uh -huh. So we have to choose the crop which we follow. So coffee is one of the plant like this, it doesn't require much stored water. Like rice and all. Even rice requires six months of stored water, right? Yeah. So coffee is not plant like not a plant like this. That's why we are maintaining coffee as a main crop here. So what you see now, this is coffee plant. So these are the coffee plants actually. So with a short height. So the maximum height of the coffee plants will grow up to 12 feet tall, but we don't let them to grow that much of height. Because coffee okay. is not like a tea. So tea oh. requires more, a lot of sun exposure, right? Mm -hmm. Coffee doesn't require more sunlight. So to avoid the sunlight, we have to maintain short height of coffee plant. And along with coffee, we have to maintain most of the supporting shelter plants in coffee plantation, just to provide good shelter for coffee. So what you see now, the bigger plants are shelter plants. So most of the shelter plants are commercial wood here, like uh, furniture wood, like rose wood, sheep, yeah. sheep, 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 this kind of wood we maintain. And irrigation is not much. Uh, irrigation is not required because we are getting sufficient water, you know. So rainfall. And um, there is no necessity of hilly region also, no? just like uh, tea. Ah, just like a tea, sir. It's not required. Hilly region is not required. Hilly region is not required in anywhere we can maintain because coffee. Because in tea, we usually uh, land it in a slant way. No? Slant way. Even, the... even in coffee also. Uh -huh. So coffee also we are maintaining in a slant way. Okay. Okay. But in a normal flat surface also we can maintain coffee. Okay. But it requires some less water content. That's it. And along with coffee, we are maintaining some of the spice items. So this is one of the common spice items we maintain. Each the bay leaves. So uh -huh, biryani, yeah. spalas uh -huh. and all, we use these leaves, right? Yes, yes, so yes, after yes. drying the leaves, we can use the leaves. And we are, we are using one more muscle item that's called cinnamon, right? Uh, cinnamon, cinnamon will be the bark of this uh, tejpata. Oh, oh. oh. This is the bark yeah. of this yeah. tejpata. So we extract two variety here. Inner layer and outer layer. Outer layer uh, used separately and inner layer used separately. Inner layer will be... Uh, uh, it will be a rolled shape. Yeah, so rolled cinnamon, one. it looks like so a cigar. Mm -hmm. So yeah. outer layer, it's shapeless thing. Mm -hmm. And so taste also, it differs. So outer layer can uh, having more spiciness. Okay. But inner layer, it contains sweet and spiciness in taste. Okay. And in coffee, we are, we are maintaining two variety here. Mm -hmm. So not only here, in all our core, they only maintain two variety. Mm -hmm. Arabica coffee and Robasta coffee. So what you see now, these are all robust coffee. So you can observe the plant structure basically. Yeah. These are all small, small berries. Eh? So these are all small berries of robust coffee and this is a plant. So usually it requires a lot of space to grow. I mean, so by the time of growing, it occupies more space and then it will grow. And the maximum height it grows up to 12 feet, but we don't What about any. robusta? Robusta. So the speciality of robusta coffee is having high caffeine. It will get 2.3 to 2.8 percent of caffeine. So it's a bitter coffee. So it's a strong bitter coffee you can call. So yeah, we can't consume more bitter coffee in regular life, no? That's why. So we need to dilute the coffee before drinking. For dilution, so we can use chicory. So nowadays, chicory is a common chicory, ingredient yes. uh, which is in, used in coffee, uh, coffee powder. Right now. But chicory is not a coffee powder. So in the south, southern part of India, so they'll grow chicory. So in Tamil Nadu place and all, they grow more chicory. It's a plant root powder. When you make a powder of that root, it looks exactly like a coffee powder only. Then mixed with coffee powder. So like uh, in a certain percentage, like 80% of coffee and 20% chicory go good. So, but chicory having its own disadvantages on health. So if you are consuming more chicory in day to day life, it causes uh, bone cancer also, bone density oh. problem. So bones will go weaker mm -hmm. and yeah, it causes bone cancer. That's kind of loss problem we have. That's why for ideal uses we can use 10 to 12 percent of chicory. That will be the fine one. <laughs> Just for tasting purpose, in earlier days they were using in bitter coffee of robust. Common fruits also we maintaining blackberry, blueberry, and some of the citric fruit we maintain. In citric fruit, so the citron, sweet limes, and mandarin oranges, these kind of things we maintain. 
and normal fruits like banana, avocado, these kind of fruits also we maintain. The tree acts like a shelter plants and it will be an additional income for us. As a commercial purpose also we can use that one. For that purpose they are maintaining because coffee is not a competitive plant like tea. So in tea plantation they only maintain tea. In coffee plantation, so with the coffee we can maintain other things too. That's the speciality of coffee. These are all coffees. Sir. Actually, we have two varieties now. So, we are maintaining different sections for coffee. So, this is robust variety section. And for Arabica, we are maintaining different sections. Is and it here only? Yes. Here only. Here only. I'll show you. And this is Adana leaf, sir. We've seen that bay leaves, right? So, this is bigger version of bay leaves. So, from this tree, we can extract cinnamon. That will be more spicier one. More spicy and more sweeter one. It's called Sri Lankan cinnamon too. So, the red one. So, the cinnamon which comes in red color, no? Rolled one. So, that comes with this tree only. <coughs> so, after five years, we can cut the branches and we can use it as a cinnamon. So, in nowadays in India, they are maintaining white hemp, white asafoetida. So, this is the plant of uh, asafoetida. So, usually the black hing maintained in Afghanistan. Uh -huh. So, you know what exactly the hing is? Yeah, hing yeah. is a sap of tree. So, we can extract the sap after processing, we will get a crystal form. It's good for digestion, that's why in cooking and all they use. Uh, that is a bit crushed into the powder. Yeah. yeah. Pepper is basically a parasite plant. It requires a basic support of some tree to crawl on. So, we are maintaining some of the commercial plants, right? Obviously, that furniture wood will have a good structure. So, we can utilize that structure to grow pepper creeper. So, the pepper comes from like this only no, yeah. same small These but are the flowers. It looks like a beetle if I thought it was uh, a beetle. It's not a beetle leaves, sir. It will no. come with a bigger leaves. Uh -huh. So it looks like a beetle leaves only somehow with the uh -huh. texture. Uh, these are the flowers of pepper. So that exactly pepper comes from pepper. Uh, yeah, on, the, uh, on this flower we will get a pepper formation like a bunch. Okay. So it goes yeah, up to one. 6 to 7 inch tall and then we will get a pepper. So this I is saw so many pepper. coffee plants. I used to think that actually it is a beetle leaf. Yeah. Outside it was just told that this yeah. is a petal leaf, pan leaf. Yeah. So this is a soil condition of red soil and mix, uh, mix, it's a mixture of red soil and black soil. So land fertility is uh, more rich now. So that's why we are maintaining these soils. Yeah. Sandal we maintain. In sandal we have two varieties here. This is white sandal plant. So we need to take care about 12 years and then we can cut the tree. So these are all government regulated things only. So for commercially growing the sandalwood, we need to take a license from a government for cutting and selling also, because it's one of the costly wood in India. So because it having high demand in international market, so what are the uh, uh, sandals grown in southern part of India having a good quality? So it's come with always A1 grade. So that's why in international market, so white sandal having a demand in international market for medicinal purpose for making cosmetic yeah. items and all we can use this one and also white sandal having good aroma in it mm. for making perfumes and all other and all they use that one and red sandal for purely medicinal purpose mm. it cures most of the skin diseases like pimple wounds pigmentation this kind of problem and other skin diseases also it will clear with them and also it's an edible thing too it purifies our blood and any internal bleeding uh, someone is suffering from an internal bleeding and all it will also get cleared with a uh, red sand so it have more medicinal value than a normal white sand so, so uh, have you know, heard about Suriname country no. Uh, no. It's the world's smallest country actually. It comes to the part of southern part of America. Okay. So cherries are basically named by taking the native name only. Mm. So Suriname cherry, Afghan cherry, Singapore cherry, these are the varieties actually. So speciality of Suriname cherry. So in a single bunch we will get two to three multiple colors with it after ripening. So that's the speciality of Suriname cherry. And you can have a look of that tree, foreign tree. Basically, it's a light tree. We use mastics, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, making mastics commonly, they use these three ones. So, we'll regularly send it to Tamil Nadu. They will master mastic production. Okay. Uh, only four or five places were maintaining yeah. coffee. Rest yeah. of them all maintaining tea. So. Because coffee maintenance is quite uh, hard because uh, coffee required lot of maintenance. Mm -hmm. So all over there and we'll get coffee only once in a year. That's mm -hmm. one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. 
And which uh, season it is? So December to February will be the harvesting season of crop. Okay. And you can see the first layer of mountain. Actually, that's all about coffee plantation only. So from the far, it looks exactly like a forest because they maintain most of the shelter plants, right? Correct. Hmm. So that's why. And in this near down section, the in valley places they maintain cadmiums, elaches. December to February. December to February. And we need to maintain colorful paths like this, just to attract the honeybees. If a honeybees will get attracted, then there will be a good pollination in a coffee. And we can expect more yield on coffee. And citric fruit we maintaining. So citron is one of the common citric fruit here. You can see that one. So for me, for me, fifty percent of the use commonly. That tree before, anyway. Yes. So the berry which is hanging. Yeah. So in southern part of India, we'll extract one alcoholic thing from that. Nira. So, Nira. Nira kaldu. Uh, thadi. So in North India, it's uh, called thadi. It's similar to that one. Nira. So this is not a thadi tree, but uh, similar to thadi. So we can cut the new branch. After that, we'll get some liquid. After fermenting, it contains six to ten percent of alcohol. In. And this is one special kind of tree. So we'll get some of the berries like arachnids. You can see that one right one. So we can use those berries as a raw material. So to make any wines and all. So for used as a preservative thing to store any medicinal thing for a longer period of time. So we can use those berries. That's why poor wines are quite famous. Okay. So instead of yeast, they use that one. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's a Nepalian based tree. So here also we are maintaining for just for experimental purpose. Requires multiple years, no? To just grow. Yeah, to grow it take multiple years, uh, but uh, we started getting two also. These are the two actually. Oh, so it is small. Such yeah, it's a one year old plant, sir. Mm -hmm. One year old plant. So these are the fruits actually. So there are 18 varieties of rudraks. Mm, so yeah. we can count the stripe and we can identify so, how many mm. or uh, time uh, phase of rudrak it is. So there are 18 phase of rudraks. So one phase, two phase, five phase. So in a single plant we are getting multiple phase of rudraks. Yeah. So but one phase rudraks tree is quite different. Mm -hmm. So uh, rarely it matures the fruit, and then we'll get a rudrak seed inside. For puja purpose, for making mala sandals, they can use that one. Oh, directly the seed will not be there. We need to cut that. We need to uh, cut the fruit, and then we are getting the seed. So uh, this is a fruit, right? So oh, inside the fruit. May require to get to the that fruit, right? So two years, sir. Within two years, we can get that one. So if it matured, otherwise it takes longer period of time. Play wood sheet and all. They use this one. So and we have advantages with this tree. It having a good structure, right? So we can use this structure to grow pepper pepper. So that's why we are using this tree. And it's having good water storing capacity in the root, no? So it keeps soil hydrated. So that's why we are maintaining silver root in coffee plantation. They have a high scale to go there. I can see the coffee plants over there, sir. How do you go there and take it? So we have a road connectivity, sir. You can see there. So the people uh -huh. will go there. Uh -huh. So sometimes what they do, they'll just uh, go down here and they'll harvest coffee. They'll keep some rope with them. So by tying the rope with uh, any bigger strong tree, they'll uh, go down and they'll harvest coffee. At the time of harvesting, they'll keep some bag with them. So after harvesting coffee, they'll store their coffee coffee beans in their bag and they'll go down. So this kind of use coffee plantation have rope connectivity. So they'll uh, store the coffee beans in the bag and they'll keep the bag downside. So the people will go by uh, camper vehicle and they'll all collect all the bags and then harvest. How many acres? This is 400 acres. 400 acres. 400 acres of coffee and spice items. In Arabica coffee, the coffee plant will grow like this. So those are the seeds, sir. Yeah, those are all the coffee seeds. Sir. So usually inside the coffee berry, we are getting born monocot and dicot. Okay. So monocot have a high demand in market, sir. Yeah. Between two robust coffee plants, we need to maintain eight to ten feet of distance. But not in so the case of Arabica. So how do you take out the seed from that? You just by hand plucking only, sir. 
So these pores, small pores, gonna be coffee bearing. But for seed formation, it takes ten months of time. So that's why yearly ones we're gonna have it. Probably. Okay. For bitterness on top. That is robusta. This is robusta with a bigger leaves and basically it's widely spread up and it is robust. It's taller. Uh, by seeing the seed also we can identify. So if it is single stripe seed, so that will be Arabica. So if it is single stripe and sometimes we'll get a zigzag stripe seed, right? Uh -huh. So that is robust. That is robust. So on this flower, we'll get a pepper formation like this. Mm. Actually, these are the small, small pepper. So it's a very beginning stage. So we use two varieties of pepper, right? Black pepper and white pepper. So both made out of same pepper only. After harvesting the pepper, so we need to sun dry it, sun dry it to get a black one. Or else we can remove the outer layer of pepper and then we'll get a white seed inside. That will be the white pepper. Okay. Well, they use this tree and we'll get one rhizome from this tree. We can just drill this tree and then after that we'll get some rhizome. So we can collect that rhizome. For essence purpose we can use that rhizome. So we can make a powder of that rhizome and we'll, uh, we can put it in a hot charcoal. We'll get a good essence from it. For puja purpose and all they use that one. So uh, usually it's called Doop, Samrani and Google, these kind of things. Well, Oh. The sky, it will grow mm -hmm. and this can be a maximum size of this chili and i can uh, i'll show that right with chili so you can see here the red one yeah yeah you can able to see uh -huh. so this is the maximum size of this chili okay and the speciality is it's a cold nature chili if you're consuming more green chili it causes acidity for you mm -hmm. but it's cold nature chili you don't get any acidity by using this chili and this is cold nature chili no so as a medicine we can use this chili it's good for BP sugar control and fat burning also, it's a medicine. So we can make a powder of it and we can use but the they powder. For for chili wine out of this one? Ah, yeah, in mm. food they'll make ah. chili wine. Ah, yeah. So fat, for fat reduction, it's a medicine. Ah. They're told that actually whenever we get cough and all, we need to have yeah. that. Fee plantation na suttaadi suttaadi tumba susta gitu. Yurde vandu cafe itu auru yvaga coffee prepare martai thare. Na vu ilikut kondu vivna enjoy martai divi. Nodi coffee bande bitu. Nodo ke ist sakata gide coffee an mele taste sakata giralva. Amazing agitu taste matra. Ni vena dru kuruk bandre e plantation visit na miss mart bedi. Coffee berry, right? Uh, the coffee plant. So it will be red color. Uh, After harvesting, we need to sun dry that berry, uh, berry to get by black color, like. Uh, so because we can't store the raw coffee bean, right? so there will be lot of chance of affecting fungus. So that's why to avoid that fungus, we need to sun dry the coffee. So uh, within a time of 15 to 20 minutes, we have to sun dry the coffee, and then we'll get a berry like. This. Okay. And we can remove the outer layer and then we'll get a final product that's called coffee bean. Mm -hmm. So this is a green coffee bean, unroasted one. Mm -hmm. So it's it having very less caffeine now, that's why it doesn't have any coffee aroma. You can check it out. 
Yeah. You want aroma of coffee, you need to roast the coffee. Then only we are getting the aroma. For roasting, we are using this machine. This is quite old machine. Since 1980, they were using this machine for roasting. So it runs with electricity. For heat generation, we are using gas cylinders. So we need to set a fire inside. Within 5 minutes, it reaches 90 Fahrenheit of heat. So in that week, we are going to roast the coffee for 20 to 40 minutes for single roasting. So similarly, single roasting, medium roasting and double capacity for Capacity? 30 kg sir, per hour. Per hour is 30 kg. I'll show the demo how it works. So after getting uh, fried, it will come automatically here. Yeah. This is cooling chamber, sir. Uh -huh. We are using this fan as a cooler. So we need to keep co roasted coffee bean up to like 15 to 20 minutes here, and then we can use the coffee bean. Actually, we need to pour unroasted coffee bean like this. This is single roasted. No, for medium roasting, we can pour again. We can turn on the machine. So after 20 minutes, we have to manually check how it gets roasted with the alpha spoon. So we can check how it gets roasted. And inside this machine, we have a roller. So the rubber keeps on rolling by the time of roasting. So we can control the speed of the roaster. By and after 40 minutes of roasting, we can completely dump the roasted coffee bean here. But after roasting for 40 minutes, the coffee bean will be having very heat in it. To cool, the, cool down the coffee beans, we are using this fan as a cooler. So this is basically a cooling chamber. Almost 50 to 20 minutes, we have to keep it. And the medium roasted coffee bean looks like this. And the double roasted strong coffee berries look like this. This is double roasted one, very strong one. But is it Arabica? The maximum caffeine will be 1.6%. Because it is having only one line, no? Yeah. And for making powder, we are using this basic grinder. So this is basic grinder. So by tight adjustment, we can make fine powder or coarse powder. For regular heat consumption at all, we can use coarse powder. That will be the better one. Fresh Arabica coffee powder, coarse one. Pure Arabica coffee without any chicory content. Mm. So we can store this coffee powder in open air too. Mm. Sometimes if you are guys using any brew Nescafe and all, mm. you, you can't keep the coffee powder in open air. It will get sticky to the moisture. That's only because of the chicory content. So the original coffee never gonna get harder to the moisture. So that's why. So this is pure Arabica and Robusta also we have. So this is airtight container. We have to keep uh, Robusta coffee in airtight container because in Robusta we need to use uh, 10 to 12 percent of chicory, right? That's it. This is Robusta coffee with 10 percent chicory. So after adding chicory, so we have a shelf life about 12 months. Within 12 months, we have to consume this coffee. Otherwise, it will get harder to the moisture. <laughs> <laughs> but Arabica coffee doesn't have any shelf life. So even for 10 years also we can use the same powder. So this is all about filter coffee. So in instant form also we have coffee. This is a bit bitter and that is bitter. No, this one. Robusta is bitter sir. Arabica is not bitter. You have drank the coffee upstairs, no? Yeah. Was it bitter? No, no. This that one. is pure Arabica. Okay. If you know this video, you will have an idea of the coffee plantation and the trees are maintained. You will have an answer to this video. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video.